All right, everybody. Well, here we are. We're back. November 24. Uh, it was just two years ago. I posted a video, November of 22, showing you guys my portfolio buying about $16,500 worth of Bitcoin, which was 1.0186 coin. And basically, I said, hey, look, I'm going to do this and I'm going to track my results. And uh, yeah, obviously, I'm smiling. Uh, probably not for the right reasons. The money's whatever. The money's cool. But Bond6677 in that video said, unsubscribe. Good luck with your gambling. It's going to zero. Bond, I just have to keep highlighting you, my friend, because you're motivating me. We're at 88,100 now. A uh, little update on the portfolio. It's worth same amount of money or same amount of Bitcoin, excuse me. I've not sold. It is worth $89,676 as of 234, currently recording at three o'clock. So it's, you know, up or down a few hundred bucks since then, but try to be as transparent as possible with where we're at. We still hold. The question I'm answering today is how high can Bitcoin go? What do I think? First and foremost, um, if you haven't gathered this already, I subscribe to the power law theory. In fact, look up Bitcoin power law. Look on both sides, people that believe it and people that don't. But this guy right here, Giovanni, I actually pay. I'm a, pay, I'm a paid member of his group, so I actually pay for his mentorship. And um, big, big part of the reason I had the conviction to stay in Bitcoin over the last year, but specifically these last six months, has been because of Giovanni. And so uh, today I'm going to be talking about where we're at in terms of power law, the first thing I need to do is go to the daily and I'll add some of his indicators. Now, again, like I said, I pay for all of this. So you guys can look at it, take screenshots, enjoy it. But I, I, I physically put my money into this so I could learn from him. Um, we have to be on a logarithmic chart, which we are, and we're good. So um, what do we got? Well, I want to first start by sharing with you what is this. This is called power law. Bitcoin has followed a power law since inception. And uh, it basically states it cannot deviate from the mean or fair market value uh, too much or else we will get in what we call an oversold scenario and an overbought scenario. Similar to a rainbow chart, but it's not based off stock to flow, which is what that's sort of based off of. It's based off of power law. As you guys know, originally I did not subscribe to the power law theory when I first bought Bitcoin right here on this purple band. I actually bought it from the rainbow chart. Simple as that. I bought it off the rainbow chart. I got rich from the rainbow chart. Not rich, but 40 grand a year is what people work for, and we made that off of one coin. So first of all, where are we at? Well, we're at fair market value. And today I want to dive deep into I'm, no editing, just talking. If you like these videos, click that like button. Where are we at? So we're at fair market value. Let's make this clear. We have never been able to get through fair market value unless we were in a bull cycle. Today, I'm going to talk about if we are in a bull cycle or not. Every time we've been in a bull cycle, we've been able to break through fair market value. Every time we are not in the timing of a bull cycle, we have been resisted at fair market value. And you can go back and we can look at that, whether it be right here resisted. But wait a minute. Why did we break through right here? But why did we not break through right here? So what's the difference of the timing of this? And sorry if it looks laggy. It's because this indicator takes up so much computing power. What's the difference of this to something that breaks through, to this that doesn't break through, to this that doesn't break through, to what I'm about to say is something that should, if it's going to follow the power law theory, breakthrough. What's the difference? Well, the difference is the timing in what's called the spiral clock. Bitcoin follows a clock, believe it or not. It's a cyclical um, timing. So first of all, that's where we're at. And everybody's asking themselves, can it go higher? First and foremost, getting to the fair market value, I believe, is going to cause the market to slow down. I think we've caught up. We're here now. I think things will slow down here. If I'm wrong, I'll be really happily mistaken, of course, because that only means I make more money. But I think that we'll start to slow down. That's not to say we can't break through. When you look at this, what do you notice? What I, what I want you to notice is 
The blue is always fair market value. We don't like to get much outside of the red. Obviously, it's exponentially growing, so that's a much different price in one area to another. And um, we don't like to get much below the purple. So we have a basic understanding. The market likes to stay around its mean of fair market value. It only goes above it. Why did it go above it over here? I'll answer that question in a minute. Why did it not go here? I'll answer that in a minute. Why did it go above here? I'll answer it again. So it only likes to go above in certain times. It likes to stay below every other time. And historically, buying off of the purple area has boded very well. Since inception of Bitcoin, we can go back. Since inception, buying off the purple area, which has only happened in 2018, in 2020, and again in 2022. It's only happened three times, these two magenta color, purple colors. So we have a general idea. Okay, we want to buy off the purple area. We want to start selling our position at blue and above. Funny enough, I didn't even subscribe to the power law theory when uh, I first bought that Bitcoin for that YouTube video at 16.5. And now that I subscribe to it, I'm like, wow, I, I played this perfectly. I bought it and I want to sell it at fair value or above. That's my goal. That's what I will do. I'm putting in the universe. This doesn't crash to zero like Bond, whatever your name is. Numb nuts, I'd like to call you, <laughs> uh, likes to say in the comments. Historically, or statistically, excuse me, Bond, it can't go to zero. It literally is impossible. Well, Patrick, it's nothing's impossible. It's literally impossible. Too many people have lost their Bitcoin. They still own it. It's somewhere. It's in the nether. They can't sell it now. It's literally impossible. There will always be Bitcoin above zero. How much above zero is what we're talking about today. So now I'm going to talk about the timing. What's the difference of not getting above the blue line to breaking above the blue line where we blow off those tops and make a bunch of money, which we already have now? Well, now we've got to add what's called the spiral, which is a clock. It's a timing. So first of all, let's get used to this timing together. Okay, we have a low transition from bear market to bull market. Transition to full bull, top. Okay, a low, aka a bottom. Transition from bear market to bull market. Transition to full bull, a top. You're starting to hear it? A low, transition from bear market to uh, bull market. Transition to full bull, a top. It's the same cycle, repetitively. Now, I want us to notice the next part. First of all, where are we? Well, we're about to hit what's called transition to full bull. That's this part. If you look at the bottoms, it's easier, right? The bottom of this. Transition to full bull, bottom. Transition to full bull, bottom. Transition to full bull, bottom, right? If you look at the tops, it's very similar. It's bear to bull, top. Bear to bull, top. Bear to bull, top. So let's answer the first question that we were asking ourselves. What's the difference between being resisted to breaking through? Well, look at being resisted. That happened on a transition from bottom to transition from bear to bull. It couldn't get through. Then this one broke through the blue line. Why? We were on transition to full bull. This one couldn't break through. Why? We were not any longer. We were after the top. This one couldn't break through. Why? Because we weren't yet on transition to full bull. We're about to be to transition to full bull, according to our price cycle, but this is our time cycle. Current time of Bitcoin, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really small, 8.35. By the way, the time when Bitcoin rips is 9 a.m. It's currently 8.35. Again, go watch Giovanni's stuff. I'm giving my flowers to Giovanni. This is, I'm, I'm looking at power law as a way to look at Bitcoin. I did not create this theory. I'm far too dumb to do it, but I'm definitely not too dumb to use it. So the second question now is, 
If we know why they break, when they break, it's because of the cycle, and we're about to hit that same cycle. Where could we go? Where could we go? Let's answer that question now. Let's get rid of this. How high will Bitcoin go? Well, here we are, fair market value. Remember, just because you're like, wow, fair market value, 87000 that's crazy. That means buyers and sellers are both happy. That means buyers are happy to pay that price. They think they're getting a deal. Sellers are happy because they made much money, a bunch of money. If we look at this, according to the cycle peak, which the dotted line follows the exact thing I just showed you from transition to the top, right? So the next thing we go from transition to full bull will be top. Top should happen end of, end of uh, 25, early 26. That's the latest it could happen. It could happen far earlier. If that's the case, projected price right there, $132,000. Fair market value. However, tell me this. Have we had that ever happen where we ended the high of a cycle, of an every four-year cycle? Where we were at fair market value? No. We were, in, we were in or above the red on this cycle, and we were in or above the red on this cycle. So what does that tell us? Let's start to look at being in or above the red on this cycle. If that's the case, you can look at upper 100s, getting aggressive here, above 200. The cycle peak right now, according to Bitcoin's power law, estimation is $199,000. That could, of course, change. My estimation is because of the Trump presidency, because of the ETFs, and because of what it seems to be other countries trying to front run uh, a strategic Bitcoin reserve, I think this cycle is going to happen faster. I think the cycle will be done sooner. I could be completely mistaken. Now, you're hearing this from a person that has not historically been a Bitcoin guy. Secondly, you're hearing it from a person that will transition back to fiat. So if you're listening to this message saying, well, I'm a hodler, I'm a maxi, I'm going to stay in this thing no matter what. We're not seeing eye to eye on that. I want to go back. I want to cash out. I want to put an additional 88000 in the bank or whatever it's going to be. I want to do that. But your wants and your desires might be that you only want to stack sats or basically stack Bitcoin. You're not going to sell. Well, if that's the case, then you could care less when the timing is. I care more. So I'm more potent to look at the timing of the cycle. I need to be out by the end of 25, first of all. But second, once we start to get in the yellows, the reds, or the oranges and the reds, if we get there, that's when I start to pay most attention to the exit side. So yes, I'm saying that I, I could see, we could see a six-figure Bitcoin in the next quarter, in the next three, four months. We could see a $150,000 Bitcoin. It's not out of the equation according to power law. Will power law prevail? I guess that's the question we are all asking ourselves. Or will this be uh, you know, a system that I believe in that is not going to work and will eventually be broken? I guess we'll see there too. Uh, ultimately, You've got to sort of attach yourself to something, and this is what I've attached myself to, so we'll see what happens. Just a brief update on my Bitcoin position. It's been really fun chatting with you guys today about this. Life is good over here. I know I haven't been putting out as many YouTube videos. Life's amazing over here. Uh, lots of good stuff, shaking and baking. Money is being made, and um, you know, hope you're all doing well as well. So thanks for subscribing as always. Click the like button if you like videos just like this. These are easy for me to make if you guys don't need the fancy edits and things where I can just talk and ramble about certain stocks, crypto, Bitcoin, investments, money, fundamentals, news, you name it. It's all sorts of fun for me because it takes me less than 15 minutes to do. I'll see you in another video, guys. As always, turn on the notification bell. Talk soon.